All right, you sultry mamma jamma suckers. Welcome to another video on the internet. It is time for another long ass moto vlog. Fourth one this year. Well, fourth long trip this year, third video. This time it's Oklahoma. So normally I record myself getting ready and stuff in the morning, but this is a really short trip compared to the others, but might be the most technical. Will certainly be the most outdoorsy, so it's a trade. Anyway, I'll explain it really quick what's going on so you know what happens for the rest of the video, or at least what the plan is. I'm in Kansas, it's midday. I'm taking off to Oklahoma to go to a place that's only four hours away. It's called the Oklahoma Adventure Trail. And I'm going to meet up with a bunch of other guys on motorcycles, so that'll be interesting. Actually, an hour in south, I'm gonna meet up with another rider from Topeka, Kansas. So I'm taking off from here in Olathe. He's taking off from Topeka. We're gonna meet up in about an hour. So I'm gonna schedule. And then we're gonna take the next three uh, to our campsite, hosted by Jake the Garden Snake of that variety. So packed about the same as last time. Tried to keep it to the panniers, but I opted for a bit more comfort. So this huge thing that's almost the size of my box is a pillow, because I wanna be comfortable. The plan is, Three nights out there. So tonight at the campsite, two days on the Oklahoma Trail, and then I come home, which is like half a day, so it's four hours. So it's not the furthest trip, but it is probably gonna be the most, I don't know if it's the most technical. I don't know what the Oklahoma Adventure Trail is like compared to MABDR. I was gonna replace these tires when I got home, but I was like, you know, definitely on the front, there's still life enough left. This trip is gonna be maybe a thousand miles. The rear is getting a little sketch, but like, it's fine. So anyway, also, First time using the new camera, I got the GoPro Hero 11, like when it came out, it got here just yesterday, I set it up. Not gonna be any difference to you, it's gonna look the same, except that we're going from 30 FPS to 60 FPS, so it'll be more immersive. So I got 10 minutes to spare. I wanna get there and use my 10 minutes to get gas and a drink and then meet up with a stranger, because that's how it's done. So actually I'll talk to this camera, this is my Hero 8 I've been using for years and is now retired to secondary camera. And if I'm diligent, I will stick it maybe here. And I got two old sevens and I'll stick them here for action shots if I can manage it. So that's all the news. That's what's happening. At least that's the plan. Who knows what might happen? Someone might die. Someone might break a leg. Obviously I don't want to, but it's possible. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Also the weather is actually great. It's like 65. I'm sweating though, because I've been standing around in my gear for a while. Pretty hot. Looking forward to getting out on the road. I'm wearing almost the lightest. Actually, no, I am wearing the lightest set of gear possible for touring. The difference is that I have my zippers up because I thought 60 would be cold on the highway. Maybe it will, but right now I just want cold. I'm pretty hot. Weird how that works. Yee yee. Oh man, I could totally, totally get through here. Well, now I can't. My bike is too fat. So I guess it's like a good little piggy. Has it really been a month? I think it's been more like three weeks. I already know what the next trip is supposed to be. The next trip is supposed to be in just two weeks. These trips are getting like frequent, but I won't talk about the next one because one, I don't know if it'll happen and two, you'll see it when it happens, if it happens. When was the last time I took 35 South? It's been a while. Um, I have actually gone this way to, on this road to Oklahoma a few times, just to Oklahoma and through to Texas. So I've done this part of highway, but it's been years, I think. Probably at least three years since I've gone down here, so. I'm looking forward to it. And I know there's a lot of wind, so I'll try to speak up. I know listening to me yell is not fun, but you wouldn't be able to hear me otherwise. So last time, if you watched, I was wearing my Shoei Hornet X2. And that one is nice because it's an adventure helmet, but the problem is it just does not fit my head, at least not anymore. It's painful and it makes my ears hurt and it gives me like a scalp abrasions and whatever. It's really uncomfortable. This is my Shoei, R1400, I believe, R1200, sorry. Yeah, my Shoei R14, no, 12. Uh, I own it, I bought it, whatever. Um, this is the most comfortable helmet and it's the only one that I really use now. So it sucks that I don't have like a peak that is super handy, but other than that, it's comfortable. I got my Cardo put in and I put my camera on and my battery bank on the back. So like I'm all geared up and I know I'm gonna look like a street kid on the trail but whatever i'm comfortable and it works because i'll tell you what i don't want to complain too much but the mabdr was very cool but my biggest regret was the helmet it was just so gosh darn uncomfortable yeah it's pretty cool out here pretty cold i'm glad i got my zippers up it's, it does feel really good though what am i doing put the highway pegs down dude We've got an hour of this put them down uh, kick up maybe i can't really kick up i got a, a rain layer of gear 
in my, uh, I got a back pouch on the bottom of my back, which you think would be great lumbar support. It isn't really. It's kind of annoying against the backrest, but it's the most storage efficient place to put it. Oh my gosh, that almost fell out. I forgot to tighten that down. I wonder what other ones I forgot to do. Looks okay. Anyway, yikes. The wind is ah, pushing me and pushing this camera. That's kind of sucks. Oh well. Yeah, the camera was up here and that's where I prefer it, but the setup I had to make the camera fit was really janky and it just eventually gave up and fell off. This one also gave up and fell off, but I, I like that angle so much. And the problem is it's just held on with adhesive and it was hot out and more to the point, the camera and off-road, just constant motion and the weight eventually made that give way. This one's not a problem, that one's not a problem, the one the bottom's good, this one might fall off, I hope not. But... Oh well, dims the brakes. So the daytime is supposed to be like a high of 80, which is actually really good. That's about as hot as I want it to be. But at night, from the forecast, it'll get as low as 45, which is really cold. It's a difference of 35, and so that's, yeah. I've never slept outside that cold before. I only slept outside once. I'll talk more about camping when I get to it, but I am looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be great. The one, uh, yeah, I'll talk about more when I get there. I need water. It's a good thing I have like a freaking gallon on my back. It's not literally a gallon. Is it a gallon? I think it's three liters, which is actually, no, that's like a gallon. Ah, so cold. But what's weird is I was just thinking for a second, why is my water not cold? It's hardly colder than, than I am. That's just because I'm used to riding in the freaking heat. And so I'm really hot and the water feels especially cold. The water is just as cold as it ever was. It's just cooler outside. I love this weather. Fall just got here but I know it's not gonna last very long, so I wanna get these trips in before the end of the year, before it gets just too cold and not fun anymore. I know I already talked about the trip, but I'm gonna go into a bit more detail, so if you don't care, just skip ahead to the actual motorcycle driving, it won't hurt my feelings, but I'm just sitting here, so I may as well. So I got a comment on my last long moto vlog, my last motorcycle trip, I believe it was my Edamoto, somebody. Said, Jake the Garden Snake's gonna be doing an adventure trail ride. You should join that. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, I'd like to go. I'd like to see Jake again. I'd like to go to Oklahoma because it's not far. So I sent him an email and he's like, yeah, sure, come on. And then uh, the, I don't know if it was the same person who commented on my video, but Maya Demoto is also going and he listens to Pico, which I mentioned. Don't know who he is. I guess he knows who I am because he saw my video. But I've been meeting up with him because we're on this, we're going the same way. And then it's going to be us two and, well, I said six. I think one of us can't make it. I think there's three others. So, me, my automoto, Jake the Guard State, Rivet, and I believe there's somebody else. I'm sorry. I, I, I was invited to a Discord so I could talk and coordinate, but I don't really use Discord or anything. So, and I'm bad at names anyway. So, I'm sorry. I forgot. Them. I'm sure I'll get to know them on the trip. I got 40 minutes left. I'm just going to listen to music and we'll continue the video at the gas station. Wendy's! Woo! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wendy's. Uh, uh, Wendy's. Uh. Alrighty, nice to meet you. I'm Mayor Demoto. <laughs> do I call you that or do I call you something else? I mean, my name's Anthony Riggles. Which one do you prefer? I don't care, whatever rolls off the tongue. Okay, Anthony Moto. Anthony Moto. No, right? whatever. <laughs> uh, Moto is a generic name that everyone else is probably going to have, so I'll call you. <laughs> yeah. And is it Mayetta or Mayetta? So it's Mayetta. easier. Mayetta. is easier. It might be easier for me to say Anthony, but all right. You call me Riggles. I've seen it still Riggles a lot. is fun. Yeah. That's a that's a fun name. If you don't mind that. Well, you were talking about wanting to learn how to moto camp stuff. I was like, me and Jake are going on a trip, literally the next month. <laughs> and then you knew about Jake the Garden Snake's trip. Did he? Well, me and uh, I'm in his Discord. Okay. And we've been planning this for a little while. I'm glad for you that it's. Since you're on, is it was that a Honda 300? Since you're on 300, that your highway ride isn't too bad. It's four hours, which is not fun, but like that's better than like a day or two. Well, I have um, I have a seat concept seat. Well, that that's just a must. But I mean, those bikes aren't highway bikes. Oh no, I mean, so you wouldn't want it to be too long. <laughs> it, it does get a little squirrely in the wind. Mm -hmm. I got way too aggressive tires on it. What speed do you go to be comfortable between? Um, what would you like to do? A six. I mean. With it loaded down, 65 to 70 is about okay. the max. Well, your bike doesn't do 200. It probably, it, you probably want to fill up at like 100 or... 150. Yeah, well exactly. then we'll stop halfway. Mm -hmm. um, I think basically right after this, we'll go. 
because we leave after this it will be taken off with 30 minutes to spare we're going to lose some of that because we're going below the speed limit and we're going to lose some again because we stop so that should round out to be just about perfect i think well 75 and 65. i don't know they both the distance looked like the same to me. Who was the other guy? There were two more. There was a total of six. Yes. One dropped out, but who's the fifth? Five dropped out and then Chris, fire guy. I'm gonna have to go to another gas station. Why? Because there's no 91 here. Oh. All right. Hey, yep. I right, stopped for maybe 15 minutes and had a lovely chat. But we gotta get on getting. Like it's so nice to just sit around, but like we'll sit around at camp right now. If we went not stop, we'd make it right at six. So we're still making good time. And I don't wanna keep it that way. He looks very happy. You're quite pleased with yourself. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Uh, were you looking to do any camping or are you just coming to hang out for a while? Actually, we're trying to meet with some other motorcycles at Site 5. Oh, Site 5. Let's see here. So, um, I don't think anybody's here in that site yet. Uh, but, yeah, you're welcome to go ahead and go over there. Awesome. You're not Jacob? Nope. Okay. Yeah, um, he'll probably be here soon. But yeah. Is that his name? I thought it's Jake. Jacob. Is it? Yeah. Okay, well anyway. Alright, well yeah, you guys are good to go. Site 5 is just going to be right over there in that loop there at the end. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Alright, have a good one. Thank you, you too. Very cool. I guess I'm leading the charge. Ah! What a cute little place. Where are the numbers? Two. Four. Three. Four. Wait, that's another four. What the heck? Well, then it would make sense for it to be this one. Five! Ah! Okay, um, I'm gonna back. Am I gonna back in? Yeah, I'm backing in. My bike's too fat and I'm too scared. Yeah, yeah, it is me. Oh, please don't fall over. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. We won the race. Huh? Sorry, what? Yep. I didn't see how far you walked, but I want to walk by the water and see. Because right in those trees is cute as hell. I don't think they'd get mad if we camped here, but like this is enough for me to risk it, but that's too much risk. I think that we'd get in trouble. I could go ask the guy. He seemed very optimistic and gracious. Yeah. Pit four or five tents around here and keep this open. I'm gonna go ask and be diligent because it would just take me three minutes and then we'll know. Question, can I take your bike? Because that would have to get off the gravel and yours might be fun. You got like these straps right there on yeah, the yeah. sides and then yeah. strap back here. Grab my chair while you do that. Give a chair! Give a chair! Baby! Baby! Yee And then pow, just fall down and break. <laughs> Surprise, back with me with a pop quiz. Yep. So, directly behind our, what seems to be the campsite, there's some trees. Can we put our tents there under the trees? Or is there like a designated, no, no touchy past um, this zone? So, uh, if you go very far behind there, there's like a hiking trail. Don't go like, you yeah. know, close to the hiking trail. Yep. That'll be good then. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you too. <laughs> Where do you want it?
Yeah. So, yeah, totally. We're, we're good. Just don't get too close to the trail. Okay. Oh, you know what? To make this a slightly less uncomfortable, I don't need to wear this crap on me while I'm doing it. That's stupid. Oh, shoot. That hurt. Take it off. Take it off. It's turbo time. It's turbo time. I say, as a truce, we leave this center patch of dirt for the middle, like chairs or whatever, but like, I think that's the middle. I call the high ground. Yeah, I'm good with that. It's my kit. First aid, that's why it's the first item. So I guess you just look at my kit while we're here. Um, bed, warm weather bed, or I should say blanket slash sleeping bag. This is my mat. This is the only thing that doesn't belong, but it fits in there and it can't go anywhere else. This is a pump for the tires. It's also, also a battery, but mostly it's an emergency thing, kind of like this. This is a pump for the mattress, which I don't need, but it's very cool. Also a patch kit, also a pillow. This is the pillow I'd normally use, but I want to use this for my back because I think that'll help and I'll use a big plush one for my head. Ah well. Ah well. It's so tight. Give a chair. My chair. That's the last thing I'll set up. And most important thing, the tent. So this tent was actually gived to me. I borrowed it once and I liked it. So I went ahead and messaged Lone Rider and I said, hey, um, can I have one? And then Alexander Lone Rider was like, okay. Okay. I told him I was doing this trip and that I'm gonna be using it every night if I if you'll give it to me. And he did, he gave it to me. So thank you, Alexander. The reason I got it is because this is the tent I want. And there's a few reasons I like it. The main reason, and it's a really crappy reason, but I hope I'm not the only person who feels this way. The colors are perfect. There's no level ground. Pretty sure that's the ground mat. Pegs, still brand new. Stakes, yes. So hopefully I don't need this tonight. I don't think I will, but this is the rain layer. I'm gonna use that as the foundation. Here's the actual tent. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Yeah, this way. Because I want to be able to face the crowd and I want them to see me when I get out of my tent to pee in the middle of the night. This fits right in my pannier. These are bags I got for the panniers, which make carrying stuff out really easy, but you can strap it on top of the bike or on top of the pannier, but I just like being able to make everything fit. So I like that it fits. You stay right here. You stay right here. I want to see how long this takes me. Here we go. Wow, that's a cute tent. <laughs> Thank you. I still hear what sounds like a motorcycle. It's gotta be, cause it ain't motorcycles. Cause if it was, they would have been here already. You know? <sighs> are you in dirt or are you in sand? Bill both. Yeah. Same. It's a lot of, a lot of sand. There's a lot of ants too. <laughs> So I hope they don't get in my tent. I guess we'll see. Cheap, cheap what tents? Oh. Well, I'm a spoiled butthole because this is my first tent. It's a very nice tent. It looks like a tent on the outside. Looks like a tent on the inside. I don't know a lot about tents, but I know it's a freestanding tent, which means the whole tent comes up, which is good because in the morning I can shake all the bugs out that I brought in. <laughs> Aside from the sand, Spot is awesome. I like it just right here. Right here. Right here. If I had done this more than once before and what I was doing, I could have done it faster, but I guess that's it. That's the tent. Five minutes. Okay, cool. So that rain cover you have, does that just stay on the tent all the time or did you put it on by choice? Why come? Shout. I was just thinking that maybe I should have privyet Privet. I've never set it up before, but I guess now is a good time. Better to set it up now when I have time rather than when it's like raining and crap. All right, how long does this take? But now it's green. I like it better when it's black. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Okay, yep. And then I guess you'd use 
the strings. So then you would use strings unless motorcycle. Yeah, I saw them. <laughs> Not really, but we can tell them that they won't be able to prove us wrong. <laughs> okay, won't lie. I don't know how to tie this up. I assume you roll it and then tie it or clip it. How late are they? 45 minutes late. <laughs> they couldn't see us. I really don't need to use all the stakes, but they're fun. I want to use them. And I want to do it right. So. Owie. Plus, we're going to be here a while, I think, so I can afford to make my tent really pretty. I want to go say hello to the boys. All right, tent set up. I'm going to say hi to the boys. Very cute. Hello, I, chips. I want to come say hi to you, but I got to make sure this doesn't fall over. Bring Bye. it in for the real thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. Good> <laughs> if I'm blinking red. Yeah, you're blinking red. You're blinking red, too. Good. That means we've done it right. This is Buddy Rivet here. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. In the text and in the flesh. You got here half an hour before you. Well, you've done good. You've gone set it up. Thanks. Well, mostly. That tent makes it look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you stay right chair, right chair. Literally right chair. Right chair, right chair. Now I can put my gear outside. I didn't want to put my gear in the tent, but I also don't want to leave it out because it's probably going to get really wet. So now I can put my crap right over there. Awesome. This looks... Looks okay. That looks fine. Looks like neighbors. I decided that that was the middle for some reason. Whatever this like hole is, the sand, I'm gonna go right on top of that. You got an anthill too. Oh, well, I have one and you have one. So I heard you took the hard way to get here, like off road, instead of like the highway or something. Oh, just for parts of it, just to break it up a bit. And how long did it take you today? Oh, I wish I left my house at like 10. Okay, it's not too bad. I mean, if we just wanted to go straight here, I think straight highway, it would have been like four and a half hours. Oh, well, that's cool. Then we're like right in the middle because I'm 410, so. <laughs> just, this ends up, <laughs> like it's pushed up against. Out in the morning, it's just my <laughs> no, your, your door <laughs> leads right here. <laughs> hey, you're an engineer. I hadn't guessed at it, but do you know how to maybe make this stay up? Here, help me. I'm lazy and it's. Take these loops and grab this. Oh. And you loop it through this. Thank you. I didn't see that part down there. Oh shoot! This is getting full. Stop it! I gotta test it. Oh, buddy. Okay. Shoot! The whole thing is downhill. Okay, that's fine. Look at all the boys. Boys being men, men being boys. It'd be really nice if um, the motorcycle was right by the tent, which ain't happening this time. Looks like a lot of crap. <gasps> my pillow, I totally forgot about it. <sighs> oh, my knee. I'm tired of walking. I wish we could bring the bike yeah, next time when we camp, we're gonna be right by them. Our ants active at night. I hope not because I'll be sleeping with ants. Yeah, but I'm gonna put the gear um, between this layer and the actual tent layer. So this will be accessible to bugs. I shouldn't be, but I better under the fly than out. All that sand, man. I gotta do a better job next time. That's so much sand. Just straight up sand. I don't feel stupid, but. Boots. Gosh, I wish I was smart enough to have a light. I almost brought a headlamp, but I'm already wearing a GoPro on my head and my pack was so full, I just didn't have room. So I gotta do it like this. I need like a lamp that I can hang up in my tent. Gosh, it'd be so nice. And then I gotta juggle like this. It, doesn't, it just doesn't work with my phone. My fault. Alrighty. Ugh. Okay, I'm mostly done. Do you want help? Cheat codes? Do you want help? There's not a lot to be done to help me, unfortunately. It just has to be done. Well, the more reason why I should be able to help if it's so little. You can help by manning that, and you're gonna be a videographer, okay? And I've got not one, but two pellets, because one's for my knees and one's for my head. Same. So, right? Hey, we're old. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quick. Yeah, it is quick, holy crap.
Holy fuck. I think it also does a... Oh, wow. That's nice. Now, if only you could hang it from the top of your tent. I can't. Oh, my... Okay, my brand new camera that I bought yesterday, the GoPro 11, is overheated for a second time. I think it's because of a certain external battery. So it overheated, I didn't get to wear it in the restaurant and have us talking over really good food, by the way. What is this, Mason Jar? It's some, it's some diner. Mason Jar Family Diner, yeah, Mason Jar Family Diner. This is good. All right, we're gonna just go to the gas station. <laughs> we're, all, he's, we're both talking to ourselves about ourselves on camera. And it's getting really meta because we're talking over each other. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're going to go up here to the gas station, pick up some maybe a beer, maybe poppet tarts for breakfast, fist, and um, go back to camp, which by the way is like five minutes over there. We left all of our stuff. We're assuming it's not going to get stolen. But we have yet to find out. This is how long we've, this is how long we've been away from camp. I time things because it's fun, and that's how long someone's had to steal everything. But guessing it's okay. I can't record very long either because uh, I'm running off of the internal battery, which is almost dead. So I'm just gonna get a bit more footage before it randomly dies or overheats tonight, and then we'll continue the video. I'm the leader. I am leading. I'm the leader. Yes, we can. I'm the leader. That's oh, right there. Yes, yeah, so good. Look at the gas station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This gas station is not as grandiose as I thought it was. I don't know if it's Tank and Tummy. If you've ever found Tank and Tummy, we were here. Um, is that that's the door? Oh gosh! I suddenly feel really sick. <laughs> I had really good jalapeno poppers, but they were so spicy. I don't think my stomach's just going, hey, those are really spicy. I'm like, yeah, I know. Where is everybody? What the f Oh, okay. All right, let's get some alcohol. Oh my God. <laughs> you did it. That's a cockpit right there. Look at this thing. Yeah. Yeah, on the highway. Or you can rest it on your ankle like this and just stick your leg all the way out. That's, yeah. That's, that's the move right there. That's yeah. The move. You did it. Now I can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> he makes it look so easy. I suck at using the center stand. I wonder if they'll have alcohol. I don't know. I think I want a beer. What do you want? Just a, just a can. That's all I want. Just a can. That'd be good. All good? All right. Oh, I forgot to look for Pop-Tarts. Um, you can stand in line while I go look really quick. Pop the press the Pop-Tarts. Okay. Oh, you're marking on this comment? This is breakfast. <laughs> Not a combination. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. Good. You want me to pick those two? Uh, yes. What's this, like, what, what do you use this for? <clears throat> I usually put it on the top of my aluminum top case back here, but I'm not taking the top case, so it's just... But this motorcycle generates electricity. Yes. I explained that to him. I said, I can plug in the battery bank and charge it all day and then run, charge everything overnight, but that's pointless because I could just charge it off the bike all day. But this is so cool, so I do that. Or I have it. I could fold it and put it away. It's, yeah, it's may as well. You're not going to be riding the bike that day. You what do you do? When there's clouds, Walter. Don't ride. Can't go anywhere. Can't generate energy. We're stuck. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> no.
you're looking at my tent like, who's getting out of it? Like, it's me. Both are easy. Breakfast, Breakfast box. Do you want to heat them up? No, actually. I always eat them raw. You eat them raw? Yeah. You see, that's not good for you. <laughs> oh, right. Pop tarts, they could be good for you. If you just, if they were just, if the molecules are doing this, mm -hmm. then they'd be good for you. How was your sleep? <laughs> That's my favorite chewing sound. <laughs> or bite sound. <laughs> um, sounds German. I don't know German's bite. <laughs> does sound like that. I'm worried I woke you up every time I turned over. Cause I could hear when you turn in your bed. Like, well, oh, I, mean, I, turn a lot. I was like, that means he can hear me too. <laughs> I know, it did sound like we were like, in the same tent. <laughs> There's only a small sheet between us. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Pretty good. <clears throat> Easy. I'm definitely putting my bike by my tent. It's just a question of if I'm taking the scary bridge or going all the way around well, to the if you street. Take the bridge, just let me film it. It can be done. It's just like it's right in my line. So it's like, uh, uh. <laughs> whole thing gives out because it's a half a ton. You said my bike's half a ton. Like, no, me and my cargo and the bike are almost half a ton. Oh yeah, probably. Uh, it looks way bigger when I get up here, that's what she said. I feel like I'm packing even slower than I set up. I think it always goes that way. Is that normal? I feel like it is. I feel like also nothing fits like I did in the first day. Yeah. You're done, right? Of course you are. My spine. It is in pain. I suck at tents. Look at this crap I drug in a tech uh, stick. Sand. I actually don't know what this is. I think it's a floor for the second wall. It's that or it's an extended awning. I think it's an extended awning. Both are interesting. <laughs> but I should, I should try it next time. Because if it was a floor, that would have been really smart this, to this use. the moment you feel like you've got this system figured out, <laughs> add something to it. Yep. Would be not willing to hurt myself. Here you go, boop, 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 boop. Oh, I should have done these first. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, got the fun part. Boop. 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 I would love to see what the speed speed run world record is for doing a tent like this. Just ch -ch 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 -ch. It's gonna be so satisfying to watch. I think that's it. Yep. Alright, I'm pretty sure it's thirds for both. So in the sand, very cool. And then I think quarter. I think that's right. Gosh, I really screwed this up. <laughs> Campers are watching this with scrutiny and going, oh no, he's running it. Ah. Yeah, I can feel, I can feel the, the judgment on YouTube. Ah. 
It's so bad. What is this? Yeah, seriously, this is bad. Such a bad job, I'll do better. Look how big that is. I just folded exactly like I did last time and hope that it's different. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm almost there. I almost got the shape. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, so that's as good as it's gonna get. Sand, dude. So sad. Oh my gosh. I mean, it works, but I did such a bad job. Ciao. All right. Now the actual hard part, getting everything to fit in there. Here's the thing, Lord Vader, it will be done. Oh, this crap. That's all supposed to fit, according to me. Did I do it? Did I succeed? Did everything fit? I don't know, it's really close. No way it's gonna work. Wow, it worked. Holy crap, I did it. Oh, that's for me. That's nice. That's cool. Cool, all right. It's a push to talk radio? Yeah, it's a little button. Okay. So it kind of adds like a, like a degree of importance. And also you have to hold it for a second, like me, because I'll be listening to music. So you hold it for a second until it like switches over to the other side. Oh. And it also wakes everybody else's up because they'll get like a little kick off of it. Mm -hmm. Then I start speaking. All right, we just got radio set up. This is very cool. Look how cute it is out here, all the kids. I say that, but I'm probably the youngest one here for all I know um, we're gonna go to the gas station because we got to get drinks water and such um, you're not gonna be able to hear their voices in the video at all unless I get Jake's GoPro and sync up video but you're not gonna be able to hear any of this unfortunately so you're just stuck with me excuse my ass okay that was disconcerting my concernment was dissed Autobot transform and roll Woo! Make sure everybody's good to go. Oh, Jake's not moving. Jake the garden snake is down. Oh, ah. Yeah, screw those. There's a dog. Collie. Some, 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 something. Looks kind of badass with a radio sticking out of it. Looks pretty stupid with that jar. <laughs> I don't know if you know the story about the jar. Um, this is the, the restaurant we just went by, the mason jar. Nice. And I said, I like the jar. Can I keep it? And she's like, I, I, I wouldn't see you if you took it or something. That's like okay. So I took it. And she didn't see it. And I'm going to try to take it home, even though I don't really have room for it. I'm good to go. You guys go ahead. Fight. Fight. Yes. We're finally going. Woo! All right, I don't know what I recorded, but uh, here we are. Um, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I'm glad I double checked. But we stopped for a while to have some drinks. And now we're back at it. Oh my goodness, the weather is so good. It's 75 degrees. Like it should be. Hey! Itchy, itchy throttle right now. And this is why I have this bike, so I can do a trip like this every month. Yay, yay! Yeast in my bread. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh my gosh. The bike ate that up like nothing. Oh, it's the frog. The frog. The frog. The frog. Oh, we're parking in front of it. That makes sense. The frog. The frog. The frog. Oh, mon dieu. The memoirs. Detail the dire and tragic story of my youth. <laughs> the frog! <laughs> you have to do a ribbit pose. There you go. Perfect. Turn on the frog skin. <laughs> it's not funny! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs>
stopped for him to pick up some food. Where is your food? Did you hide it? Yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, already. <laughs> what you got to do here is bang a yoey. And bang a yoey, you'll be right at your mother's house. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Everything in that bag is charging off of your bike, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. I like the size of that tank bag. It's charging even right now. So yep. Might need to wipe off your solar panels there, bud. Yeah, I'm not using them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken, chicken, it's not a chicken, it's a vulture. <laughs> God damn, that's so bad. What's up? My, my rear brake, it degraded so fast. Yeah, it's just <laughs> do, 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 do. As well, we stopped and we're here. Very cute. That's a beaver or something. You won't see it on the camera, it's far away, and the GoPro can't pick it up. But I'm watching like a beaver leave a rock and go in the water and come up and then back down. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Sand. Oh. What a cutie. <laughs> Is that a toilet? Like a urinal toilet? No, it's just a toilet toilet. <laughs> That's the base of it. Now go find it. <laughs> you can do it! Or maybe not. Too slippery. Oh, yeah. You want help? That's nice. Good luck. Already? Nope. Now I am. It's yours. <laughs> Wish I could do that. I know this bike can do it. I'm just not skilled enough. I'm too scared. This bike's freaking huge. Thank you, Quick Trip. It's so nice to be at a Quick Trip in a foreign state. <laughs> foreign state. Um, so, gas, and I filled my hydration pack with all the ice and water, so I'll be good now. Um, we found a campsite that will hopefully maybe work about 20 minutes away. We're literally just going to head there, go to the gate, and see what they got. All right. Let's see. Who's... Okay, I can't see Wiggles. Okay. I got heartburn and I'm hungry, but at least I don't have to pee, but goddamn that heartburn, I wish it wasn't my turn to hurt, oh my heartburn is burning, and I want the stopping sensation. Ah! That was a good solo, I want the stopping sensation. And I want to go home, but not after I'll tell I go to the camp. Ah! Is there no check-in? Is there no booth up there? Checking in on there. I just saw stuff about info on it. I think it'd be worth looping really quick and see if we can find a booth. Yeah, let's try that. Well, this place is cute, dude. It's so cute. 
Oh my goodness. Mm, I smell cooking meat, but also this place is super cute. Oh my gosh, this place is so cute. I think we should park somewhere out of the way and get online. I can do it and pay for it if you want. So you're, you're paid for a spot last time. Whatever. I mean, I, I, I'll do it if someone else wants to do it. I'm not going to say no, but it's... Yeah, but it, I don't think you should. Stop buying us Well, stop it. I'm actually really giddy because I found the cure to cancer, but I just traded it for a once in a lifetime experience that I should have had, but I'm old now. Um, collecting firewood. I just grabbed three sticks and put it in a pile. I've never done that. And now I'm gonna wander into the wood wood is in and look for tiny baby sticks. I'll be like the I'll get the participation trophy of firewood, but wow, this is exciting. I've I've literally never done this before. That's just like a generic pastime that everybody should have, right? Like a picnic. Shoot, I don't think I've been on a picnic either. Oh, we got so much wood between all four of us men. That's a penis joke. Those are my sticks I brought. I got a stick. Now, that one's gonna require a saw. Which? Aha, uh -huh, guess what I've got? A saw, dude. I have two. You got a saw, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you got, see, so you got all the actual wood. I just got shitty scraps. Look at that, look. Yeah, I, I got some wood. <laughs> Be easier to light. Well, well, you can still use it, but like that's what you want. Is there more of that over there? Did you see? Yeah. Okay. There's a good pile of it. Let's go steal it. Stealing, stealing, stealing. He said anything on the ground is fair game. Yep. I'll grab whatever you can't, and then I'll maybe walk around and I don't see any more wood. There's freaking spider webs everywhere, dude. Ugh. Oh, that's gonna crackle good. This is the rice crispy of wood. Uh, snap, crackle, pop. Oh yeah. It's enough for a while. All right, I think in a bit we're gonna leave to go get food and stuff. Saying you have the plates and condiments. Yeah, I don't have them. Jake was recording it on his phone, but I didn't record it, I forgot. I'm so happy about this, check this out. <laughs> you can't, there's beers, and there is uh, Dr. Peppers and some drinks for me, a drink for Jake, and ice cream sandwiches. And look, it's already frosting on the outside. <laughs> and this side has meat, buns, chips. He's got condiments and plates. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. I'm the big boy. Okay! The leader, I'll say. I'll say on the leader, bitch. I'll say we go down the lane. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> That's like a freaking photograph, dude. That, uh, that. If you could just zoom in, crop out the, ah, crop out this road and just get the lake and the sun to be nice. Oh, right, the, right after I went, a bug smacked into my visor. Wee. Yee yee, wee wee, French French baguette. Hair so to feast. Why don't you dig in there and get a beer? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> also, after dinner, 
Yeah, I don't want to dig it out yet, but look at that. <laughs> we aren't Arby's, but we have the meats. They're buried. Actually, where are the meats? Oh, they're in here. They're in the bottom of this. The Lord's Cheeps. Ooh. And buns, uncrushed with condiments, and they're buried, but they're buried, but they're in there. Jake got them. Help me. Thank you. Sausage. <laughs> We have, we have 10 of these. Sausage. Different, different flavors? Yeah. I got two different, like cheddar ones and then beer ones. Oh, I'm so excited for that. So it's not a lot of alcohol, but three beers per person is probably fine. He has to cook. Someone has to start a fire. I have to shower. I'll start a fire. Okay. Oh, the video will come back later after reasons. Are you going to document your meal here? Yeah. Thank Are you for you satisfied food. satisfied with the food I've made for <laughs> you, sir? Yes, look. Oh, man, man. Did you see what you made? I have created this. The secret was using a barbecue chip to add flavor, right? I did I did put a barbecue <laughs> chip. And you know what? It burnt better than the charcoal did. <laughs> <laughs> Went up pretty good there. So we each get two sausages and cheese. Three ice cream sandwiches. Three ice cream sandwiches, <laughs> three beers, and a doc, uh, Dr. Pepper. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <clears throat> the beer ones are my favorite for sure. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's eat. Oh, really? Mm. Yep. Smart. Ah! Now there's one left. Yeah, five seconds. No, go rinse this off in the water. Right, we'll throw it on the plate and then I'll do that. Yeah, it'll be fine. Wouldn't it be better to put it on the grill and no, burn we'll the germs? No, rinse it and we'll put it back on the grill. That's the, actual, that's the full key. Sorry about that. <laughs> this little handoff and it just... It happens. Correct. Right. I would eat. another plate though, uh, Walter? Just give me a plate there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I'll take that. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go eat. I've been over here slaving. It's my turn to eat. I wish I had a sausage like that, but mine bends to the what left. You got your plate ready? It's gonna be ready for you soon. Plate on a solid surface. There you go. I'm gonna be so goddamn full. I'm gonna puke all night. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> there was a pile of the nice wood by their fire pit across. Yeah. I scooped this pile of mustard twice. Like, why isn't it? Because it's not a pile of mustard. It's a dot picture on the plate. <laughs> You've had enough to drink. <laughs> <laughs> the ice cream sandwich is good. But I'm so full. I wonder if this camera can see, but you can kind of see stars. You can see the moon. It's pretty cool that you can see any of that, but it is neat though. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and say really quick. Um, I slept really well, except for when I didn't. I was up for a couple hours in the middle of the night because I was sick because I had too much sausage yeah. and beer. Oh, yeah. Well, mostly just too much sausage, but because of that, I was laying in bed until nine. I say laying in bed because I wasn't asleep very much. But when I was asleep, I was asleep. But I was comfortable. When my stomach wasn't throbbing in a non-sexual way, but anyway. Oh, it's cold. This is like my favorite toolkit. <sighs> we missed a couple stories. Something got the these two remaining buns, which I was assured would not happen. Oh, I should be doing this. I should have the case ready. Y'all service. Beach. Have you ever been to outer space, Harry? Having this bench here in the middle sure makes packing a lot easier. You kind of just have an area to do your stuff. You could probably pack everything of yours within your tent, including the tent. You could probably, because you're so skilled. <laughs> pack myself in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> hey guys, well, well on the outside, up. I'll fit inside my bag, but I, whoops, I forgot to remove me from my pack. 
wrap myself in the sleeping bag inside the tent. But you're wrapped to such a way that you essentially don't exist mass wise because yeah. you're that good. The secret to packing for Camp Harry is pocket dimensions. Heck, bear in mind, what brand is that? I'll see the summit. Feel how dense this feels though. Wow, it is dense. It's very dense. This one's fluffy, but that one's probably better I mean, in every way. It's, it's so That's contact. cheap, it packs bigger. Yeah, I've got that one. dollars to live like homeless people. We do. <laughs> now, is that your original thought or did you read that somewhere? Because that sounds like something. Yeah. It's funny. Thanks for sharing it because it's my first time hearing it. Oh, that's my helmet. Oh, oh it does. Yeah, I'm obviously not doing this in the right order. But whatever. It works just fine. Go. Man, it's getting warm fast. That or I'm just out of shape and sweating from standing here. You're just getting warm and you're wearing like sweat. I slept them because it was getting cold, you know? That joke didn't even make sense. Joke prison! Uh-huh. Peg. God. Those instructions for dumbasses like me. But they didn't count on lazy people like me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you have a certain amount of pride still. <laughs> still hold on I'm one. still holding on. Thank God you did. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't get this story. My tent. I took it down with the bag inside. Gosh, I'm stupid. Oh, I should have shook it out. Well, forgot to do that. Another fail. look really good on the back of my bike. If I can fit it in here, I think it's cooler. Once again, I didn't do a good job. It yeah, well, that actually was, that was actually fine. Just need to get better at packing it. Just need to get good. It can be done, Lord Vader. I'm telling you, Lord Vader, it can be done. Uh-huh. It was upside down for a reason, Harry. God damn it, Harry. Yeah. Pretty soon. Thank you, sir. It has to work. Yes. I'm just going to cut forward because I'm mostly packed. What you want? <laughs> hey. You literally got me the moment I put my helmet on, so at least I can actually talk to you. We're gonna ride today, camp again tonight, and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna start heading home, and that's when I would stop to see you. I drove by your house on the way down. I recognized the quick chip in the, the house. I was like, oh yeah, that's there it is, right there. I'm guessing I'm gonna end up an hour or two south of you by tomorrow morning. So if I took off at 10, I'd get to you at noon or something like that. So I, I'm sure noon is gonna be perfect. Some place near where you live is fine because you're on the way home. All right, thanks, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. Testies, testies, one, two testies, I'm ready to go. Whee! Oh yeah, very, very good. Okay guys, welcome to the morning of the day. I. I hadn't spoke to the camera in a while, so I figured I should. 
So yeah, I guess I'll talk about what it's like to sleep outside as a new camper. I'm an old man. I'm an old boy. Really, I'm an old boy. That's probably the best description of what I'm like. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, minus waking up sick, I, I think I mentioned it when I was putting the tent away. That was a great night of camping, dude. That's that's everything. That was everything in the movies. Minus maybe playing in the water like, like this. <laughs> Aside from that, it was everything I ever saw in the movies. Everything I ever wanted. I'm just so elated with a good camping experience. I want to talk about it. Spikes, spikes, baby, spikes, spikes. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is going to be on the bike. Anyway, put this visor down so you can hear me better. So, my uh, camping. That was my third night sleeping outside. I slept outside one a month ago on my way up to Maryland and that sucked but that was because I did everything wrong uh, two things I did wrong three things I did wrong I can think of one I had been sweating it was really hot I hadn't showered yeah so good luck sleeping while you're sweating that sucked ass uh, number two the mattress I thought more air equals more comfort apparently not I had that dead wrong so that night I was sleeping with he's gonna do a wheelie probably this is important you must observe yes Sorry, dude. I'm not trying to get in front of you. So you can go ahead. I'm just, I was just speeding up to watch you. Um, so the mattress was too full. So I was, it was like sleeping on a rock that first night. The third thing was, I had the little air pillow, which you, know, you want for your head. But usually I sleep with a pillow between my thighs because I think it's hot. No, because if you put a pillow between your thighs and lay on your side, it helps your lower back. And darn it, do I not need back support? So I thought for this trip, a few things. One, shower and it's not super hot out. That helped a butt ton last night and tonight. I showered, uh, well, I didn't shower last night, but I showered tonight. Anyway, so that helped. Mattress, I filled it up just enough to where when I lay flat on my back, no part of my body is touching the ground, but if I were to sit up, then my butt's flat on the ground, but it's just enough to where you have enough cushion, as much cushion as possible. And that was like a big difference, so I'm stupid. It's, not, it's something you wouldn't think you'd have to look at a video on the internet to learn how to sleep on a mattress, but I should have looked that up because I didn't figure that out till later. And then I brought my own big pillow. This pillow, I've, I've had this pillow actually ever since I went YouTube full time is when I got this pillow. It's, it's special. It's been with me since the beginning. So anyway, it's it's huge and it's heavy, but darn it is it not comfortable. So this, and I use the air pillow for my back and those three things made it great but then when I made it into a movie it was going with the bros cooked sausages had beer sat around an actual campfire gathered wood i'm talking about all these things like they're novel and that's because they are novel to me i've never done that before it took me until now to get there and then of course you add motorcycles it makes a part of my heart super happy but I did have one too many sausages and a little too much beer, I guess. So I woke up really nauseous and I was like, I know, like, I, well, I just gotta stay up for an hour or two and then eventually it'll, it'll, the pain will go down low enough to we gotta put cruise control on. Here's tiredness, here's pain. Pain exceeded my level of tired. I had to stay awake for a while until I got more tired, a little bit less pain until this happened. Like, okay, now I can start to fall asleep. Laid in bed, wait another half hour. And then I could fall asleep now. So I just had to be up for a while in the middle of the night. So that sucked. But other than that, I woke up really warm and like not shaky. Just I was wearing my jacket and sexy sweatpants and my fuzzy socks and my blinders to block the sun. And I was like, yeah, man, I could I could stay here for a while. Anyway, aside from waking up and feeling sick, I slept really great. So like, ah, yes, this is this is what camping is supposed to be. Skunk. Yesterday we did, what was it, 70, maybe 80 miles. It was not far. It was maybe two hours, maybe three. Three slow hours out in the dirt. I don't even know if it was three, but we're going to do probably the same thing again today. Honestly, it's probably what's going to happen, but it's open. The agenda for the trip is we have no agenda. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I'd, that's the one I'd go to. All right. <coughs> Oxygen. <coughs> what is it right now? Info button. 71 degrees. It's going to get up to probably 83, so that's about as hot as I'd want it. Park up in the shade. I have to uh, do a couple things. One is I have to wipe my visor, and the other one is I got to get ice in my backpack. I think I'm the only one who needs to stop, so I need to hurry up. I doubt they have visor wiping stuff. That'd be neat, though. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, yes. Jackpot. If you need to wipe your visor, this is the only one that has towels in it. I probably should have wiped my camera too. Harry, get the ice machine, Harry. 
it gets hot so fast when you're wearing this gear, even though it's the lightest set possible with the vents open. It just starts getting so hot. A necessary thing in the summer. Are you getting breakfast? Is that what that is? Well, if you're eating breakfast, I'm eating breakfast. Or something of the like, oh my god! I want this so, I'm so excited. I'm, I mean, I eat them all, but if you want some, you can have some. I like zebra cakes, but I didn't know they made them as donuts. That's why I'm here. I've never, I didn't know those existed till just now. I was like, they have zebra cake donuts? Oh, these are actually the best. Thank you. <laughs> have a good day. Be out there. Thanks. I know you won't. Ugh. <laughs> wow. I'm going to wipe those. Well, that's a lot better. Okay. Let's get on. Let's go. Here we go, boyos in the dirt. Well, we're stuck here because Jake's mount broke. I just turned on all the cameras, all four of them. It's very cute. I've always wanted to use them all together. Are they all facing the same direction? They kind of are. And I can switch between four of them in editing. This can be very annoying. But I'm going to hunch right here because if I don't take advantage of this, the cameras are going to die here any second and I won't get to record any of the actual riding, which is fine because it's just dust anyway. It's just flat dust, but it's cute to have different cameras, so I wanted to use them. Good. Good. I've also got super, quick, super glue. The JB Quick is much better. <laughs> Alrighty, if you don't care, I'll just go. But please let me know ahead of time if there's a turn I'm supposed to take because I won't know. I'll try. Okay, I'm gonna get a head start because you need to get distance anyway. I want to spin out that rear tire. I'm not brave enough. Alrighty. <laughs> Oh, I feel so sick. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm still not quite over being sick last night. Well, since there's nothing cool to look at, and since I have the cameras on, I guess I'll just keep talking so I can take advantage of my four cameras for funsies. It's heartburn. Oh, it's nausea. Oh, a little fatigue. Oh, that's bad heartburn right now. Dang. Phenomena, I don't know if I mentioned as much as boring, but it's a story. Oh my gosh, this is the most exciting the trail has gotten. Hold on a second, let me pay attention. <laughs> no one has to be far behind me for this. We're going so slow. This looks like a BDR right now. Anyway, um, not an interesting story, but whenever I travel, that is when I drive, it's not when I fly. Or is it when I fly? Oh, deer. Watch out for deer up ahead. Okay, I'm gonna go up ahead and I'll stop at the intersection at East 290. Oh. Oh. I'm stopped up ahead at the first stop sign and I'm waiting for people. I don't know how far ahead I am. This is Walter, I heard you Jake. I'm gonna head back to where I last saw you guys. Look at this. Oh. 
Oh, that sucked. There they are. Okay, good. Cool. Want me to go? There's a rut here on the left side that I drove through on the way here and it sucked. I'll point it out. Oh boy. Oh. There's kind of a bump dip thing at the top of the hill. Watch out for that. I don't know where we're going, so you need to lead now. There's a lot of poop. There's a lot of poop. This is good dirt. Seen better, but it's good. Jeez, dude. Can't see. God damn it. Oh boy. Can't see. <laughs> That's for us. <laughs> There's somebody there. <laughs> Why does that cop car sound so weird? <laughs> yes! It's so satisfying. Yeah! They wave! Woo! Hey, I want to do this really quick. Yeah, I want, I want all of us to get together. Rivet, I want all of us to get together and together get a semi to honk for us just once. It'd be super satisfying. There's a couple right there. Get ready. Get them. Get them. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, thank you. <laughs> First try, too. <laughs> Good. 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 How oh, my balls? God, my balls. Balls, 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 balls. Jake, I'm going to get in front again, if that's okay. We bought a fresh, that is too fresh pizza. We eat it. It was their first time as Texans eating it. It was very good. I was so happy. They seemed to enjoy it. Or they lied. One of the two. <laughs> well, we were here for oh, like half an hour just chilling in one shade that we have. But the shade was over there. Of course, now it's up here. Uh, we're going to ride a bit more since it's only 2.30. So we're going to go for a bit. And uh, I, don't, I guess we're going south. But do a little bit more. That's that. Autobots, transform, come on, transform, transform Autobots, transform and or oh, oh. Autobots, I'm still here, oh. Megatron has taken my knapsack, we must defeat him at all costs, if it costs more than twenty dollars, then we will not defeat him because I lied, okay, I'm done, sorry, I don't know if I'm how annoying I am. <laughs> Go! Wanna ride it for a minute? Oh shoot, yeah I do. Am I flashing red? I can't tell. Yep. Okay. Let's get on that big boy. Why are you high sighting it? Jake's bike, not too surprised. Can't see anything in these mirrors. <laughs> uh, it feels like, I don't know, easy. I'm not saying this is like weak, but like I'm so comfortable. It does feel different. It's like a stiff dirt bike is what it feels like. It feels like a mix between my Super Duke and something else. Yeah, well, coming from the Super Duke, this doesn't scare me, but if I took this off-road, I'd probably start getting scared. Jeez, this bike is so fun. It's like a Super Duke, but it can go anywhere. Ah! It's like a little Super Duke with off-road capabilities. Well, that's weird. That's what the map shows, but we're not doing that. Uh-uh. Saying to go there? 
Yeah, it does, but you know, obviously we're not going to do that. <laughs> He's wheeling my bike. Do you like it? I love it because it's like it's like a small Super Duke. You should ride my Super Duke sometime. It's just like that, but a bit more. I, I, I love it. I'm really curious about how that feel off road because I feel really comfortable on that bike. I'll leave up to you. I'll ride yours on a dirt dirt road if you want to try it on that. I say we continue. Get dust in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really comfortable on this bike. I mean, the seat's really hard, but coming from the Super Duke, this just feels pretty normal. Jeez, it's so freaking fun. Here we go, dust time. Oh, that's a little squirrely. Not as bad as I thought. Not as good as my bike, obviously, but this is getting pretty nasty. All right, now it's fine. I have misplaced confidence because it feels like a Super Duke right now is something in the road. I can't kick my foot at it and warn him without losing my balance. Look at this. Look at this nasty crap. Come on. I'm kind of standing up to try to get myself some, some suspension. I can't. This block in my nose. The shadow's making the path look really weird. All right. I can keep going, but I'm also good now. So I'm going to give him a chance to... Give him a chance to switch bikes if he wants. Whoa. This is really interesting. It's like dirt. I was like worried about a big bike and stuff like that. No. It's plush. This isn't as bad as I thought either. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's just it's just like a super dude. Do you wanna do you wanna go more or do you wanna switch now? I'm fine with either. I can do either or I wanna switch. I wanna go back. That was fun though. I'm really glad I took it on the, that in dirt. <laughs> Why do you get off ice? <laughs> oh man. Uh. Oh my gosh, this is way too plush now. It feels wrong after that bike. It's wrong! <laughs> This was a little nasty, dude. Just a little bit. Okay, this is weird. I feel like I was more comfortable on that bike than this one. I might have an excuse. I think my front wheel is not aligned and I think it's squirrely. I think it wobbles, which obviously would make everything feel less stable. <laughs> I might be wrong about that, but that's what I think is going on. This is nasty crap. This is nasty. Oh, it sucks. Whoa, that was close. Uh-oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that bull is making it act like nope. <laughs> he's he's he wants to charge. He's got his bear spray. <laughs> I also would say keep our engines on so that we have a chance to move if we have to move and get out of somewhere. Don't turn him off. I think he wants to get back in there but doesn't know how because it's a fence. That's sad. All right, Jake, do you want to wheel forward or want me to wheel forward? That's a better idea. Okay, I guess we're going to wheel, fo wheel forward together as a group. Stay as one. Stay a pack. We are men. <laughs> we are men. Do you want me to be alongside you? Okay, all right. Makes sense. Yeah, something eventually. Oh, <laughs> that scared him. Poor guy. There's a little. <laughs> a game of chicken with the cow. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. You want to go? Go, 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 go. Yeah! Woo! We did it! Oh, we lost one in the back. He died, but the rest of us made it. Oh boy! 
I'm going. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good little adventure right there. What I'm thinking is I want to set up by six and I like the idea of me heading north at like five o'clock and start heading back up to north camp, do a camp by myself if it doesn't hurt your feelings. It's just a possibility. It's like I'm trying to get away, but I'm up for that. But I say we go for another hour and see what we find. Jeez, suck. Okay, here's the thing. I don't want to go there speed because if I go there speed, I can't keep my momentum and do the kind of riding I want to do. I'm going to fall back because it's really hard for me to ride if I can't do the speed I want to do or the whatever. So I'm, I'm going to get back so I'm not stuck behind one of you. Here we go. Oh, that looks like oh. oh, man, look at this. Can you believe I've had worse? Come on now. Get up the hill. Get up the hill. Attaboy. Yee. Yee, 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 yee. Here we go. I don't have enough speed for this. Is it right if I just go in front? Hard right? Yep. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, this looks like ass. This is, this is poopy. Oh, gosh. This feels like a BDR again now. This is not flat dirt anymore. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm uh, getting rocks up on my skid plate. That's what that skid plate's for. Oh gosh, look at that. Oh, oh gosh, that was a little, that was a little something. Oh gosh, look at this. Come on. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> skid plate. I just want to make sure I'm in the right place. Man, I was fast. Unless I went the wrong way, I was going fast because there's nobody. Here. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm at an intersection and I hear you coming this way. Holy shit, I didn't realize I was going that fast, but yeah, you're, I'm up here. I'm the fastest in the land. Oh. I'm going fast in the gravel dirt, in the gravel dirt, and dirt gravel in the gravel dirt. Oh, buddy, that was not it. Should have gone fast. I slid out a little bit, just a little. If a big freaking bump comes, I'm screwed. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, look at this crap. I didn't get enough speed up the hill. Oh, oh. Oh, not enough speed, come on. Lug old girl, holy sh, holy sh. I started to lose confidence, because I'm like, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I gotta get up this hill before I get run into. Okay, I don't wanna screw them up. Halfway up the hill, I thought, am I even supposed to be up here? Is this the right path? Am I on the wrong path again? I thought, maybe I should just stop. And then I probably should have just kept going. Oh, look at this. The gear's too high. <laughs> gear is too high. All right, here we go again. Are they behind us? Okay. God damn! That is probably the steepest hill I've ever off road hill I've ever gone up. Oh my freaking leg. <laughs> oh that hurt. Yeah, oh we just had a fun time going up that. <laughs> I'm sorry I ruined that for you. Halfway up the hill I thought, am I on the already. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, halfway up the hill I thought, am I on the wrong path again? Maybe I should slow down. No, you can't stop. And I died halfway. I was like, well now he's gonna get stuck behind me. And then I had no momentum the rest of the way. Yeah, that, was that was sucky. That sucked ass. <laughs> that could have been way easier, but it's just, God damn it. I quit. So they're going southeast. <laughs> they're going southeast, which I've been going southeast for a while now. 
but I need to go northeast because tomorrow I'm supposed to meet a friend on my way home. So I figure I'll just turn around now. But not really. I'm not wanting to go down there again, so I'm going to follow them, and then I'll loop around and take a longer way to a camp place. I think I'll make it just before it starts getting dark. So I'm glad I got to stay with you for a couple nights in a very platonic yet sexy way. Here we go. Oh boy, please. I'm really hoping it doesn't go downhill, but there's no way for me to know. It could could have been at the, already did the worst part. It could be the worst part is coming up. But this time I'm ready for it and I'm not going to lose momentum. Oh my gosh. Please don't let me crash right before it's over. Ugh. This road is honestly not a big deal so far. Why are we going uphill? This worries me because it means I eventually I'll have to go down. There's a cute tunnel. Super cute. Oh, oh. Now I can't warn them that there are dogs ahead. That'd be a nice thing to warn them about. Gosh, I hope they're okay. I'm gonna sit down here for, when I get to the intersection for like five minutes. If I don't see them, I'm gonna assume someone died and gosh, I hope not. Bord! Protest board, hey. Bord! 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 Okay, there he goes. Okay, I'm pretty, pretty darn sure it's this way, but I wanna check. Okay, good, great, all right. I was like, I don't know if we're gonna get past those dogs. How did you do past the dogs? I saw that out of the corner of my running so I was just gave a gas. Yep. I was like, oh, I can't warn if there's dogs, but you just gotta go. Um, I actually gotta go forward and make the next right, and that's where I'm going. We go forward and we also make the next right. Really? No, we make we take a left. Okay, so we'll stop at the next one and then we'll say goodbye. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Kiss. All right, we got it. Oh! <laughs> this or that? Because the whole rod is. Okay. We're going to go to the next. Don't worry. We're going to go to the next stop. Oh, that's cool. The camera's looking up at me. Hi. Yeah, sweet, sweet pavement. Like it ain't no thing. That's so exciting. Turn the camera over here so you can see these foos. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So sad. <laughs> They're going the complete opposite direction. So sad. Alrighty then. Oh boy. What do I got? 47 minutes. That's not bad. 47 minutes. I'll get there. If I went straight to camp 545, that's good, but I'm probably gonna have to stop at a gas station to put more ice in my thing, and what else? Uh, ice in my thing, and what else do I gotta do? Probably get some, some something to eat for dinner. For dinner. Of course, I don't know where anything is on the way relative to camp. I gotta probably pay for camp online before I actually get there. And at some point, I should do it now. I don't wanna, I'll, I'll probably do it at camp. I gotta put air back in the tires. Well, now, that was an adventure. Well, now. That was an adventure. The adventure is mostly over, but not entirely. It's kind of weird because I'm going to have to get out of social group mode, which I've been in for like a couple days now. But now I'm going to go back to being a normal me, which is a quiet, slow, old man. The video is going to start turning from less into, oh, wow, to just quiet montage of things. So hopefully it's not too boring for you, but it is what it is. I'm excited. To, I'm excited to go camp on my own again, which just sounds stupid. It sounds like I don't want to be with them. I do. It's just that this is the opposite direction. I'd rather not do the same thing twice if I have to. And I really want to get to this campground. It sounds sounds awesome. I hope it's not crap. I'm supposed to be able to have the whole place to myself, which just sounds cool. Maybe that's weird, but I'm kind of a solo dude. So the idea of having that just sounds really cool. Yeah, I want to have to flip my visor out because the sun's there. And with the dust, I, I can't see. It just turns into like a fog shade. So I'm going to have my visor up here in a bit, but I'm keeping it down while I'm recording with this camera. Yeah, we'll see how chill the rest of this video is, but it's gonna be much quieter. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I guess I'm done talking now. Free air? Is it free? With a nozzle I can actually use? Well, shoot, yeah. Why is there so much dust in there? What has happened to you? Cool, dude. Okay. Oh, you look fantastic. Oh, you look fantastic.
Ah. <laughs> that sucks. A bit better. Yep. All right, let's get on. Alrighty, we gotta go for real. I spent way too long here. What time is it? 6.20. Um, sunset's at 7. I'm not going to get there until 20 minutes till sunset. So I can do it. But I'm going to be rushed as soon as I get there. Um, supposedly drive straight forward to the water. Uh, RV and outlets are to the left if you want them. Uh, there's a blue place with showers. That's all I was told. Oh, so short on time. I ate a slice of pizza, which I didn't want to eat. But I wanted to eat some kind of sustenance. I'm feeling really sick. I'm like, I'm hungry, but... Also like nauseous and heartburn, so I had to eat some. But I grabbed a box of Cheez-Its for the night if I want it, and then I got a little carton of donut holes to try to grab things that weren't gonna get crushed that I could put under the net, so just strapped on top. And of course I refilled my bag of water because it was empty, that was the most important thing. So, okay. Guess jump to the camp and uh, I'm gonna try to chill out. It just it's gonna be tight, but I can do it. Okay, horseshoe. Ooh, 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 ooh. Time is against us. Is that the blue building? It's like a house. She said go straight down to the water, which I am totally gonna do, but I'm gonna ask these people where the shower house is. Do you know where the shower house is? Um, there's one right there. Uh, the blue one's over there. So the blue one with the RV next to it is the shower house? Okay, it looked like somebody's house. I wasn't about to just knock yeah, on the no, door. No, no. And then you see that white door right there on the other side of the pool? Uh-huh. Uh, there's a shower in that one, and I think there's two of them up there. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good night. It's so lush and flat. I'm happy about that. So I guess straight down here, boy -o. <laughs> Too bad it is cast in shadow. I kind of want to be pretentious and take right here in the middle. Look how, look how just lush and flat it is. Also, I kind of want to point my bike at it in case I need light. So, right here is good. How close to the water am I daring to get? I kind of want to be right here. I'm going to look at the water. Look at it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh. Ooh, table, though. Table is good. This is flat. Oh, how can you not use this whole area to yourself? How can you not? That's too cool. All right, I'm going to leave the bike right here for a moment. I might move it to unload easier, but I want to use that table for sure. I think I'll put my bike parallel to this table and shoot at the tent for light if I have to, but how close to the water can I get? Because this, it's, mm, it's not super grassy. I can, obviously can't be up here because it's just rocks, but how close to the water I want to be? Close enough to hear it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Park right there. Tent here. Oh, I got this whole thing to myself. This is awesome. Okay, bike, bench, tent, water. Oh, yes. Okay, but I gotta hurry. <laughs> this is such a cool spot. Boyo, I win. Everyone else who doesn't have this loses. There we go. Okay. Oh, I got 15 minutes till the sun, till the sun that thing goes down. Probably not gonna need the chair. I don't know. Chair's cool. That's not my priority. This is my priority. Um, question, do I wanna use the base this time? Sure, why not? Maybe it'll make it more plush. I wanna sit in my tent and look at the lake. Can I look at the lake from here? Yes, but not as much. It settled in. It settled in. I didn't shake it out this morning. Auto rods transform. Auto rods transform. Oh. Now you may think that's really stupid. I think you'd be right. But I am optimist, but I am optimist for I.
There's a lot of dirt in there. You know, instead of rolling it, let's do this. Yeah, man. I'd say that looks like a tent. Oh, that's so cute. Look at this. <sighs> that's much better than yesterday. Yes. Lake view. So cute. Actually, pretty good. Just a tiny bit more. Get out of here. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. These buggers. wrong shape. How'd they get that shape? I guess they did thirds. What is it with everybody folding in thirds? What is this strange obsession with folding everything in thirds? Beach. Much better. So let's sit down for a second. Get out of here, man. Come on. They're going for my moist cloths. My moist collection. Ooh, it's warm in here.
parts through together. I wish the camera didn't overheat. I did such a good job packing everything. The tent fit perfectly. Everything just boop, boop, boop. Psh, like, yes, I did such a good job. Okay. Oh, my back. My body in general. Okay, what time is it? 10.30, yeah? This is about when I was hoping to leave. Let's get mildly off of this slippery wet grass, which I should be able to handle no problem because gosh darn it, I did harder stuff yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> oh, is that the way out or is this the way out? This is the way out. All right. Get on the road, Mamma Jamma. Get on the road. Oh, it feels so good to have my backrest back. I put that back down because, you know, I'm not in dirt mode anymore. I only have two places I have to be at certain times today. Oh my gosh. I have a dog. Makes me miss my dog. Uh, so first of all, I'm meeting my friend for lunch at noon in Tulsa or near Tulsa. I'm not sure where, but it's on my way home. And secondly, I need to get home by 7 so I can pick up my dog before he gets trapped in his doggy daycare place. So, before I get there at noon, I wanted to give myself a little bit of time. And uh, I got just enough time. I'm going to have 30 minutes to spare, which I'm going to use halfway between here and there. Which is like over an hour away, but halfway between here and lunch, I'm going to stop. And put air in the tires, wipe my visor, put water in my thing, put gas in the tank. Ooh, yeah, I need gas. And uh, I might have a drink maybe not i don't know i just i woke up and i haven't had anything except water so but i don't i don't want to eat because i'm gonna have lunch soon lunch for breakfast oh, oh man 71.5 it's just so nice out right now it's such a i should be it, enjoying it right now but all i can think about is the fact that it will almost never be that temperature in the fall you might get that for the high part of the day but if i want to go ride which i will i'm still planning to do trips here in the next month or two it might be nice during the day, but at night it's gonna be freaking freezing. And then the summer, like, yeah, it's 100 degrees, but at night it's 70, it's perfect then. So you, can, you just can't have 70 all day unless, I don't know, you live in California. I don't wanna complain about it. I'll have some experimenting to do when I get home, but as you've seen, this thing has overheated four or five times now. It really sucks. And if I can't figure out how to stop it from overheating, I mean, I, I should just return it. Return it! Return it! Return it! Return it! I've been buying GoPros for 10 years, and when they work, they're great. But that's about 75% of the time. I don't, I don't know, but I think that's a failing grade. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's, it's barely passing grade. Hey, I'll give GoPro a barely passing grade. And now that another camera can follow, we'll do this. Aha! Yes, it looks like I meant to do that. But because this was my first week camping, and I said I was going to talk about the camping after the camping's been done, now is a good time to talk about it. Went out once by myself last month on the motorcycle. Was not a great experience because I was sweaty and it was hot and I didn't know what I was doing, I guess. The, the sweaty and hot was the main reason. But now, a month later, I get out. Oh! <laughs> oh. I did three nights in a row and I gotta tell ya! I gotta tell ya! It was fine, dude. I liked it. This morning it got so cold, it got, I almost got 40 degrees. It got really cold. I had everything on, but the last thing I did is I grabbed one of my t-shirts and I laid it over the top half of my head try to cover the, my ears and uh, my head let stop heat from escaping the only thing I was exposed was my nose and mouth and that helped a little bit I was still pretty cold was like I wouldn't I would like to have 10 degrees more warm like I, I was it's pretty cold but um now I know that but I did fall back asleep after like 20 minutes so it wasn't that big a deal and I slept and when I woke up it was really warm because you know temperature comes up with the sun so I loved having that spot all to myself the only way it would be cooler is if I was like dispersed camping and truly in the wilderness. 
but I don't know if that's going to be a possibility because I have to maybe not shower but not have been sweating before I go to bed like I have I was sweating while riding yesterday so maybe if maybe if I was riding it's a pretty cold day like 60 degrees that's not cold but maybe if I was out riding all day to 60 degrees never broke a sweat then I could go to bed without a shower and I probably feel absolutely fine like crisp but that'd be oh man there's several things I gotta do to evolve or step up my camping game because I'm, I'm a noob but definitely one of those things is to go disperse camping oh man I want to find I don't know if I'm brave enough at least on this bike but to go exploring in the wilderness and find like a just a secret spot that like no one is at and then have that to myself watch out I am the police some people might think I am the police but not semi they, those guys have sharp eyes they know what a motorcycle cop looks like and as a motorcycle rider I know what they look like and they don't look like me but some people they think I'm a motorcycle cop because I have all these gadgets and gizmos and I'm sitting there I'm like wah, 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 wah. I don't know what that noise was it was like a mix of a police side whoop, whoop, and a throttle wah, wah. so it was like wah, 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 wah. I don't know I died oh I thought it was I thought it was Mr. Clean it says I died for one hour and 45 minutes the sun was blinding me like is that Mr. Clean I died for one hour and 45 minutes <laughs> it's not even funny and it's hilarious I want that as a t-shirt it's just Mr. Clean and it, him smiling, you know, it just says, I died for one hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, that's tired laughter. Oh. oh. <laughs> and people will look. <laughs> and people will look at that shirt and go, what? <laughs> uh, uh. I could make the shirt, I could make it, but I can't sell it because it's uh, Mr. Clean, I don't own it. I have a fantasy, among others, is to make and design my own shirts that are mostly satire of other things. I would never sell them, they'd just be for me, but for that I'd have to have shirt making technology. And you can't, I tried, you just can't order single individual shirts. If I want to have someone else make my shirts, they got to be made in bulk, I don't want bulk, I just want individual shirts with my own designs. If you know someone like that, please let me know so I can pay them to print my des one design on one shirt at a time for me. I'd be so happy. But dumb stuff like that, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Wow, I'm so tired. That was the hardest laugh I've had all month, which is pretty sad. That's, that's pathetic. But, oh my gosh, that was funny. I'm pretty sore, actually, taking into account how I feel, because sleeping on my shoulder what, what happens when i was sleeping on my side like in the middle of the night last night when it was really cold i was just arms wrapped around in a crisscross here i'm gonna show you a crisscross looks like it was like this on your side and that compression i guess just was like making my chest sore my back didn't feel much better but like my chest was just cramped over my side so I, I'm, I'm not like really sore but i feel not as comfortable as i would have been if i got out of my own bed i'm so happy and excited to be able to go to quick trip I love that feeling. It doesn't really feel like I'm traveling if there's a quick trip. But going to a quick trip feels like home. It's not. Hashtag not sponsored, just a fan. So yeah, thoughts on camping? Uh, I'm glad, first of all, that I came. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to make this trip. I'm so glad that I did, I had a good time. But with camping specifically, since this is the new thing I'm trying, uh, I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to doing it again. Um, it's gonna be colder next time I do it, so I probably need to do a little bit more thinking. There's some adjustments I need to make, or optimizations like I, I need a tent light I need one all I have is my iPhone light and it really is not good it's hard to be able to see anything so I need to get that and some other things to make quality of life a bit better but yeah I'm looking forward to going out again currently now that this trip is almost over I can say that I am planning if I'm not putting myself on the spot I'm planning to go do Florida in a couple weeks which is a bigger trip than this one and it's pretty soon and it'll be more like the past trips where I'm just by myself sitting silently and covering lots of miles this trip so far has been 600 miles so I'm probably gonna be oh I don't think I'll be 800 miles by the time this trip is over so it's not bad I want to do disperse camping but something else I want to do which I could just do at the same time is I want to find I want to ride to some place where you can see the stars very well at night so I'm gonna look on the internets and try to find spots in the US that have the best places to look at the stars during certain seasons. And then I don't think I'd be able to do it this year because I'm already got my trips planned more or less. But next year, that's definitely a goal is to ride at some place. The only place I know is the place where I saw the most stars was uh, the Black Hills of South Dakota. I went there to visit relatives when I was a kid. And we rode home through the night 
and I was playing in the back seat and just, just and I was just staring out the window because oh my gosh it was like I was in outer space it was insane but anyway I thought about that because the past couple nights you could see the stars pretty well I didn't have my glasses so it was pretty hard to see but like there's stars everywhere like I want to go camp somewhere sometime in some season in some place where I can just lay down and just, just stargaze for hours that'd be awesome so that's a goal. Alright, I'm like 10 minutes from Quick Hit Trip. Uh, we'll just continue the video as normal. Thank you for watching if I'm done talking to the camera. <laughs> Does it work? No. Oh, okay. I know there's a quick trip close to the place I'm eating lunch, so I'll get air later, I guess. It's just not right here. Hey, are you waiting for air? All right. I ain't got that kind of time. I almost died texting, yep. Really? I was like, yes, you know I can't text? Hi, how are you? Uh, <laughs> dude, it's so good to see you, man. Yeah, it's good to see you again. I like this rig. Oh, thanks. I, You know, it's it's so silly, but half the time I forget it's there. The other half, I'm like, what's this heavy thing on my head? Dude, the things he does for you guys. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Well, I had a stupid idea to climb a mountain in a mass tree farmer. <laughs> and, not, and not just any mountain, like a 14,000 uh -huh. mountain. I can't even walk on top of a mountain out there. There's, there's no way you could climb and climb in the suit. Did yeah. you do it? Mm -hmm. No training or anything either. I'm so happy. It's yeah. so stupid. It's and I'm so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm excited for the video, man. You've never been here? No, I'm, I'm a traveler. Ah. Traver he's, he's coming through. Covered in travels dust. He's <laughs> Even showered in four days. No, I showered. Oh. <laughs> I just look like I haven't showered in four days. Okay. Oh man, that's awesome. I'm making a like a mini warthog, like a gas-powered mini warthog. Are you gonna make your own frame or I'm sorry, body to try body, to make a mini warthog? They kept, they're coming out with it like a Power Wheels version of it in Walmart. So I'm gonna get one of those. Oh, take, take the a body off. Okay. And then put a gas powered engine in there. That'd be awesome. And I just got the cart last week. And I haven't really done any testing. I guess I haven't filmed any testing. I mean, uh, it could be a fun cameo if you wanted to be in, in that video. Do like a little test of the go. -kart. I'm up to fart around. So tell me what, what's this whole video gonna be? Um, every month. For a few months now, I've been doing a ride to some state on some kind of motorcycle trip. And then I have the camera on the GoPro, of course, which records all the time. But then if I can, I take it off the helmet when I'm off the bike and I stick it on my head so that it can keep going. And I try to record as much as I can yeah. out of like a week. And then I edit that down to like an hour or two of like how the week went. Oh, cool. So it's a lot of editing, but I think it's an interesting kind of a video where it's just, here's the trip. So, and so you go... Yeah, so editing has to be a pretty big thing. It takes a long time. <laughs> but it's the kind of video I want to make, so I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do it that way. Yeah, dude. Professionally, how's life? Professionally? I'm here to catch up with my friend, right? I haven't um, talked to you forever. Tell me what's going on. What are you doing now? That is a good question. When I get time, I want to do movie videos, but I just haven't had time. Yeah, like the Book of Eli one? Yeah. Long story short, YouTube, I've been treating it like for fun and not a job. I haven't been treating it like a job for years. On one hand, I want to make videos for myself because I like making those. On one hand, I want to make videos that pleases as many people as possible. But I've been leaning way over hard to this hand. And it seems to be okay as far as YouTube being a, a fun thing goes, but certainly not as a career. Right. A week of traveling, two or three weeks of editing. Yeah. And it's it's not a good money maker. No, That's not why not. I'm making it, but I'm making it because I want to make it, so. Dude, I can relate with like build videos. It's like the same type of. That was so fast. I didn't attempt to lick the dirt off my fingers. I need to go wash my hands. <laughs> Alrighty.
had a lovely dinner. Sat and spoke words and coffee. I wasn't sure which way to go, but there's his car. He's heading that way, so I'll do what he did. Um, spoke for like an hour, and now he's like, hey, I got a go-kart. Uh, it's sketchy as heck. Do you want to come test it out? I was like, uh, yes. As always happens on these kinds of trips, I start getting pressed for time. I just keep losing minutes here and there, but that's what the schedule is for. Uh, like I said, I have to get back by 7 for my dog, but I have just enough time, I think, to stop by his place and try that go-kart, and if I can, I really want to. I keep bringing spiders with me from camp. All right. Let's come on. I said, let's go. There you go. Let's go. All right, Walter, cover your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Would you like to be my test dummy? Yes. Yep. As we discussed, what we did not discuss was exactly how bad this was. It doesn't look bad. Look you, said, bad. you said sketch, not incompartmentalized. Now, I'm assuming this is rear brake. Yeah. And this is throttle. Yeah. And that's ignition. Yeah. Well, that's that's the engine stop, but <laughs> oh, we can't stop it. Okay, great. <laughs> that really is perfect for the warthog. You might need to move the engine and all, but like that frame, I think will work just fine. So, is it always in gear? Yeah. Okay. Oh gosh, it's even smaller than I thought. <laughs> oh, dude, you look so funny. <laughs> I, the wheel should be like way up here, like a trailer. <laughs> Give it a go, baby. Okay. All right, all right, let me know. I'm going. Don't kill yourself. Okay. Go. <laughs> so fun fact, uh, I love go-karts. Um, I got into motorcycles because I wanted a go-kart, but it turns out they weren't legal on the road. So like, well, I guess I'll do this. Doesn't mean I'm any good with them. Okay, this thing is not as fast as I thought it would be. So this is not that bad. I'm just trying to figure out what it's capable, how, how, what would it take to flip this thing? If I put my weight in, I bet I could spin this thing. <laughs> it's fun. All right, reaction? Uh, it's not as fast as I thought. Okay. Uh, about as fun as I thought. I really want to drift it, but I don't know if it's possible. I know it's not smart, but I think it's possible. What I did on the second pass, I think it's about as good as I can do. If I had more width here, I could probably like do a 180, but I don't have, I don't think I have enough room. Oh, you can, you can drift it more than that. Woo, there we go. There we go, that was a good one. I'm gonna carry it, I'm gonna carry it. Ah, I lost it. I had it though. I've just about destroyed this. I was like, uh-oh, I about broke it. I about pulled the throttle cable out. Now it's out of the tension anymore. So oh God. I can barely get home. It needs more power. Okay. It needs to be drifted. It needs to be drifted. Especially if you keep the body and the seat low to the ground, you could, you could, you know, because the Warthog drifts. Yeah. At least in Halo 1 and 2. Yep. It deserves it. it. Yeah, it's fun. It, need, it needs more power, though. And if you want to splurge, get even wider tires. I'm thinking bigger tires, for sure. That would be really cool, but... <laughs> I mean, fun. Uh, yes, <laughs> it's very fun. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me to ride it. You're welcome. <laughs> perfect test, though. So what you're saying is, is a good idea. Yeah, yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have to start heading back. I think I'll make it just in time, but I'm glad I stopped, so... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for contacting me for meeting up for lunch and everything. Oh, great. I got a half hour saved. Cool. Great. Okay, good. A little bit closer than I thought. All right, bye, Brad. Thanks. Glad I stopped. I'm glad I had time. Oh, I forgot to put my, my buds in. Okay. I'm going to head out of here a little bit. I'm going to try to hit a quick trip because, gosh darn it, I need, I need some caffeine. I don't like making myself get caffeine. Gosh, it's so cool out here. It's so fun to take the zero over there and just fart around. Ah! What the? What the f was that? Did you even look? What the hell was that? Buddy, that was close. Look 
good on you, dude. <laughs> Time for a complaining session. I'm gonna get my money back on this GoPro. It has overheated. It's not worked too many times and it has made my trip, which has otherwise, otherwise been great, just annoying. Makes me realize I would take it for granted, which is funny because this is the last GoPro I had. The last trip I went on, the media mod started smoking, which is horrendously dangerous to have something smoking that could explode on your face. So I replaced the media mod and that worked otherwise. Bought a brand new GoPro, which works even less. This thing overheats all the time and keeps shutting off. I don't know if it's recorded, but I almost hit a deer. I was gonna overtake legally, but I decided not to. And it turns out if I had overtaken, I almost certainly would have hit that deer. And then right after that, there was another deer that I wasn't in danger of hitting, but I was kind of close to maybe think this is exactly why I record all the time. It's important to have an action camera that can just record because if something happens, I wouldn't be pissed about hitting a deer and crashing and breaking bones like that's life, but not recording it when I should have been able to otherwise so no one can see it or I don't know that I was like that that really frustrates me. I need to be able to record with my camera. So the fact that I can't count on this camera, never mind what the last GoPro did, I'm I'm getting my money back if I can. I just this isn't good can't use this thing so I'm gonna return this if I can I bought this directly from GoPro so I can't see why they wouldn't give me my money back but I don't want it and I'm gonna return this and go back to this camera and then maybe I can find a different camera to replace these with because it's just the last trip the helmet I had wasn't good. That ruined that trip for me. Nah, it's this camera problem for this trip. The trip was great. Man, this ride I was just, this two hours I was doing, oh my gosh. Some of the best highway cruising I've done. I've been listening to a new song on repeat the whole time. That might be why. I really like it. But the weather is just, and then just, oh, it's been great. But this camera, yeah, just complaining about it. I'm Use this camera brand new on this trip. Not using it again. All right. I assume I'll be able to record when I get home, but I, I don't know what's going to be included because I just don't know what's recording. Why did I park here? I don't need gas. I literally just stopped to, uh, I could have kept going, but I wanted to check the camera for one because I don't know what it's doing. And also I thought, I'm going to just, I'm going to get a, which way? This way. I'm going to get a drink and a snack. I got like probably an hour left till I get home. I'm actually, I was behind schedule. Now I'm ahead of schedule. So like, I'm just going to sit here and. Maybe take a 30 minute break. How long do I got? Hour, 20 minutes to get home, 5.30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give myself 20, 30 minutes to just relax. Okay, that's all. <laughs> all right. I listened to that song on repeat for four hours straight. That's pretty crazy. Um, I guess I like it. <laughs> um, I'm almost home, but I guess I'll go ahead and put the name and artist of the song. I don't even know what it's called, but I heard it playing on random. I was like, I like it. Yeah, I guess I'm going to end the video here because normally on a long trip like this, you'd see me unpacking. But that's boring. You've seen that already a couple times, a few times. So uh, that's the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. I had a really good ride home, by the way. It just it's super fun, super chill and everything, good cruising. Uh, I'm going home at this price. Uh, I guess I'll see you on my next trip. Thank you for watching. See ya. Bye. All right. Ugh.